What's going on YouTube? It's the Zenny. Welcome to a brand new video. If you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a toolbox tour. My cart, tray, and a well my Husky box. I am an independent uh, tech at an independent shop. Uh, actually, I'm an only tech besides my boss at an independent shop. I work on anything from lawnmowers to heavy equipment, skid steers, trailers, agents, Europeans, uh, light duty diesels. Uh, and everything in between so uh let's check out my tools and i hope you like it all right here's my snap-on cart uh six drawer i think it's the krsc 46 something like that uh so yeah the flip top I got my sticker score got auto bandan uh grassroots unlimited cody auto diagnostics uh the diesel soldier capri one mechanic uh eric from works for tools Tow Guy Y, Turbo Tie Tie, uh, Dead Boy, Suicide Boys, Team Sesh, big fan. Uh, Mag Rag, More Autobandan, Diesel Soldier, Carnage Tools. Yeah, there's my, my sticker there, another Autobandan. So, let's get into the drawer. I'm gonna just start from the top, work my way down to the bottom. All right, so on the top here, uh, it's the coast flashlight snap-on flashlight some easy red um, foldable collapsible magnet trays right here's a gear wrench um, oil filter sockets these are basically my lug nut sockets uh, I got a 12 point uh, 12 millimeter for four dry shafts just uh, I need this warranty it's a Phillips from snap-on it's all rounded out Right here is Green Nomadic Magnetic Set, um, 7 to 15. I have the 8 on my uh, teardown tree. Let's go down over here. Um, Mac, uh, bit adapter, extension, whatever. Milwaukee extended one. Uh, I just found a snap-on half-inch shallow 3H socket. Uh, Mac bit driver. I really like this one Pretty good ratchet uh, Carnage tools or JTC oxygen sensor just bought that Snap on quarter inch wobble regular quarter inch uh, shallow and then as a 10 wobble Capri 8 millimeter wobble Capri 7 millimeter magnetic from gray pneumatic. I bought it for Ford's for the uh, coil plug um, Fasteners if you've ever worked on one, you know doesn't work that great, so I don't even use it that much. <clears throat> uh, Lyle, USA made uh, oil pressure sockets. Uh, Matco, uh, 5 8 spark plug socket. Matco uh, Torx, I think it's a T15, a T30. And then I got a Matco USA made extra deep uh, 7, 8, 10, and 11. Let's see if we can get that USA made there. Now, uh, get you moved and show you my sockets. All right, so right here is a gray pneumatic, uh, half inch to three eighths with the locking adapter for transmission, bell housing bolts, stuff like that. Works great. Uh, minimal torque loss, promise you. Uh, just a miscellaneous uh, pry bar that I don't use, ATD, USA made. And uh, these three are radiator hose picks from Snap-on. Uh, all the long ones. I got that. This one. This one. Got a big snap on flathead. Got my uh, second most used uh, radiator hook. Snap on. There's another radiator hook. Hose pick, whatever you want to call it. Snap on Phillips. And small flathead. And then it's basically my sockets. So basically all my half inch. So right here is Capri Stubby from uh, I believe 12 or 10, 12 to 24. And then Great Pneumatic Wobbles, 12 to 24. And then Great Pneumatic Half Inch Deep from 12 all the way to 36, no skips. Uh, if you're looking for a good, great 
impact set of sockets that are gonna last you a lifetime without breaking the bank. Green pneumatics, the way to go. And then here I got some axle sockets, uh, 30, 32 millimeter for um, Mercedes, uh, 30, 12 point for Toyotas, 24, 12 point for Volkswagens and stuff. Uh, these are, this is to complete my uh, stubby set. I'm gonna buy a shallow set just because the stubbies work, but I, I still need shallows. So this is a half inch, 27, 29, 30, and 32. Great pneumatic, uh, Matco uh, line socket for um, the the diesels for the, the Cummins. I use them on other on other vehicles as well. They work. Uh, Matco pinless U joint, Matco three eighths pinless U joint. Obviously half inch. And here uh, is my uh, three eighths sockets. I got from eight millimeter all the way up to 24 millimeter. Uh, JTC uh, quarter inch to three eighths impact, three eighths to quarter inch Matco or snap on, don't remember. Um, impact half, uh, three eighths to half inch impact, half inch to three eighths impact, uh, T40, T45. Snap on universal wobbles, semi deep 10 to 19. Um, I think the 16 and 19 are green pneumatic because they didn't come in the set. So 16, green pneumatic, 19, green pneumatic, the rest are snap on. And then uh, shallow sockets from eight all the way to 24, Capri. Got a Capri half inch ratchet. Uh, Snap-on half-inch ratchet, indexing ratchet, uh, carnage tools, Capri, 3.8, breaker bar, gear wrench, impact locking extensions, gray pneumatic half-inch extensions, uh, Capri 3.8, stubby, impact sockets, 8 to 22, and then uh, gear wrench uh, E-Torx from E4 to E24, I think. See. Yeah, E24. And then uh, Luber, paper towels, some limiting torque sticks, uh, Phillips, small Phillips, Matco, uh, pick. I use this mainly for seals, works pretty good for seals. And that's my top drawer. All right, my top drawer is basically my electric diagnostic drawer, kind of. Um, launch code reader, uh, OBD2 memory saver or batteries, uh, snap on test light. Uh, this is for the OB uh, memory saver. Uh, it's a battery tester from that got sent out from someone. Camera, it just shows you there, good or bad. Don't really use it. I got the Carnage Tools one, the Lanco battery tester. That one works pretty good. Use it through your phone. So use that one. Uh, Carnage tools, Wi-Fi board scope. I use that. Lyle, Lyle power outlet for uh, you know checking fuses and stuff like that. Power grounds inside the vehicle. Some back probes, uh, alligator clips, uh, BNC adapter for my U scope. Got my AC wave U scope. Uh, my Pico amp clamp. My launch Digon Five uh, scan tool works decent i need to review on that one already Had it for almost half a year uh you can see multimeter leads here uh my multimeter is missing it's a snap-on dvom the basic multimeter the black light uh nice uh multimeter but it's out being warranted because uh, i was reading incorrectly big time snap-on torch and then uh this is a uh, infrared i like this thermometer like the backlight so visible even on camera stands out good to the eye so and then uh some test leads for my scope is the i think the three meter long and this is basically more use uh scope adapters i got my ignition stuff 
Uh, some AC filter adapters and primary ignition adapters. Just keep them in there, keep them in the bag so I don't lose them. So I'm, I always take my scope home to play with it. I'm still learning how to scope, so. That's my top drawer, electrical drawer. All right, my second drawer is my power tool drawer, money drawer. All right, let's just breathe that in. All right, first we got the uh, Milwaukee high brushless, uh, high torque brushless impact. Got the Mako 3H new brushless stubby impact. I uh, got an M7 half inch stubby impact, uh, snap on air quarter inch ratchet. Still comes in handy for super tight spots. Uh, snap on screw gun, not the brushless. Uh, Milwaukee drill, and brushless, uh, Ingersoll air hammer, uh, Milwaukee uh, die grinder, air cat die grinder. Great, 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 very quiet uh, air die grinder. If you're looking for a good one, air cat's the way to go. Uh, snap on long neck three eighths snap on long neck quarter inch uh, snap on light uh, snap on straight die grinder the brushless one the new ones pretty good i like them and then all my batteries for the matco milwaukee snap on all right next door is my wrench door All right, so I got um, double box in, ratcheting one end, closed in on the other. Gear wrench, uh, I have a set from eight all the way up to 24. Uh, the only ones that aren't in here are the eight and 10 because I keep them on my tray, so it's nine, 11, and then um, 12 all the way up to 24. Uh, Capri thin wrenches, so pretty good thin wrenches. I think it's uh, six all the way up to 19, no skips. Snap off flare knot wrenches, nine all the way up to 21. Um, the best flare knot wrenches, in my opinion. And then I got stubby gear wrench, uh, ratcheting wrenches, uh, snap on eight millimeter uh, to complete the set. Um, missing my 10, so I gotta re get that one. So it's basically eight to 19. And then uh, these are uh, gear wrench, regular combo wrenches, eight millimeter all the way up to 24. Uh, I, skip, I take a few, uh, I think I take out the 23 and the 20. So it goes to 8 to 19, 21, 22. Oh, yeah, so I didn't even have the 24 in here. So, it's, oh, no, yeah, so 19, 21, 22, 24. Uh, best ratcheting wrenches, uh, mountain wrenches, double box in, 8, 10, 12, 14, 13, 15, 16, 18, 17, 19. All right, the next drawer is my plier drawer. All right, start over here, uh, nip picks, the C-clamp, those click clamp uh, pliers for, you know, on Europeans and stuff. Uh, snap on battery pliers, those are good. Work for studs too. Snap on 90 degree needle nose, snap on tongue groove, snap on needle nose, uh, long right angle snap on. Snap on slip joint pliers, some of the best slip joint pliers because of that third position right there. It's perfect. Diamond groove. Snap on dikes. Uh, great hose clamp pliers. These are Lyle. I got the, the straight and the 35 degree. These are snap on precision pliers. If you don't own any, get some. Very expensive, but worth the money. Uh, made in Spain. So you got the, these are the ones I use the most. There's needle noses great uh gripping power not meant to pry but you want to grab something and bite it and pull it it's gonna bite gets into very very tight spots great for orifice tubes and stuff like that straighter valves for ac work got some precision dikes uh 45 degree needle noses and then um, just some regular uh, pliers there let's see uh JTC from Carnage Tools, uh, hose clamp pliers. Basically, I got the same thing over here. I don't use these too much. Didn't really like them with the spring assist. 
These, however, are great host, host clamp pliers as well. They got those grooves, great pliers. A um, bunch of companies rebrand these and sell those. So good pliers, long snap on, angle needle nose, straight long needle nose, Capri uh, wire stripper, homemade dikes for U-joint uh, C-clips, um, Blue Point hose, hose clamp pliers, Baco, Baco, whatever, just for a wrench, great wrench. Uh, these are gear wrench uh, trim panel poppers, but I actually use these for hoses a lot. Uh, follow me on Instagram. You always see me using these, posting these. Great pliers. Um, your imagination for a tool is per perfect. Uh, more trim panels. I mainly just use these for those ones in the, where they're in deep and you can't fit a finger in there. So you reach in there, grab them, pull them out. Uh, Capri tools. Um, Flush cutters for zip ties and stuff, made in Japan. Uh, these are good, I've had these for a while. Astronomatic hose clamp pliers, cable pliers. Got that over there. Uh, big ass pliers from Channel Lock. And then a uh, slight step down Channel Locks for there, tongue groove. Uh, oil filter pliers from Channel Lock. Milwaukee um, vice grips, uh, Matco. Uh, Three-piece hose grip pliers. I use those all the time as well. Uh, Snap-on uh, crimpers and cutters. Snap-on long diagonal cutters. JTC slip joint pliers. These are really good. These are actually, these look very similar to the Matco and uh, Carlisle ones. I think they come from the same place. These are really good um, slip joint pliers. I actually like these. I like that. They got the real shallow pore so you can get in some tighter spots and uh, grip. These are some trim panel pliers I got from Carnage Tools as well, made by JTC. Uh, these are the bomb. If you don't own any of these, you need to buy some. And that's all my pliers and my plier drawer. All right, my fifth drawer is kind of like a miscellaneous cleaning drawer kind of thing. All right, uh, OEM tools, dead blow, uh, Tekton ball peen, best sledgehammer in the market. Uh, second and none, Wilton, badass sledgehammer, that's what we call it. Half inch torque wrench, half inch Harbor Freight breaker bar, great breaker bar, 25 bucks. Haven't broke it and I've used the hell out of it for stuff. Uh, just some surface cleaning stuff, wire wheels, cutoff wheels, hub cleaners, roll lock discs, uh, Capri impact breaker or impact driver. Um, some bits for the air hammer. Link uh, caliper press tools, these are the best ones. Uh, better than the freaking speed handle, whatever. Screw that, these are the great. These are for the smaller calipers, especially for the rear ones, uh, single pistons. And then these are for, you know, just every other caliper. And uh, these are some cleaners here. I got a razor scraper, a flat scraper. I mainly use this for uh, separating oil pans, super thin, ATD, USA made. Uh, brush, brush for scraping, uh, carbide scrapers, ATD, work great. Lyle seal puller, uh, Lyle uh, brace of pad cleaner. Snap-on, knife sharpener, got a little knife. Uh, shader valve. This is the best uh, little shader valve I got. I got this from Matco. This is the only one that has not break, broke on me uh, when taking off high side on the Fords. You see this one. Every other one I've had, they break. This is the only one that doesn't, so I like that one. Uh, disconnect tools, got the GM heater hoses, must have, makes the job so much easier. Nissan Toyota one here. Um, battery terminal cleaner from Easy Red. Razor blades, uh, brushes to clean bores and stuff. Loud abrasive plaid, abrasive pad cleaners for surfaces. All my tools for my die grinders and stuff. And then some, uh, Torx, extended hex adapter Torx, uh, Vim. I got a quarter inch here because I made a special. I had to cut one. It's a T15, T25 on a Duramax doing the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, this fits perfect in there. I was able to get in there and out without taking a bunch of stuff off. Take some time. Uh, this is just the lid. I cut a hole out to fit my bleed funnel. So say I'm working on a car, I gotta drink some coolant and I save the coolant. I drain it into a clean bottle, a clean gallon, 
and then I uh, can report back inside the vehicle when I'm done. So there's my fifth drawer. The last drawer is kind of like another miscellaneous drawer. Uh, let's see, got my tubble towels for cleaning my hands and interior. Uh, got lubes and greases in here. Uh, big wipes for cleaning my tools. I got a Capri quarter inch torque wrench there. Uh, gear wrench, 3 8 torque wrench here. Show that one. Let's see this one. There. Lyle stethoscope, you know, for checking noises out. Got a uh, masking tape for a bunch of things. Uh, holding up windows, covering ports, stuff like that. I uh, got a just a PVC pipe um, for as a hood prop. Some also tools, gloves, uh, mechanics uh, heat shield arm for your arm, Lyle bleeding funnel, and then I got my uh, jump booster Noco the GB150 works good. And then I got a license plate here. I use this to uh, cover up stuff when, when I'm doing soldering because I solder with a torch. So I use that to cover up stuff that I don't get direct flame on it. And that's my cart. Oh yeah, I got my Milton USA made uh, air truck here. Keep that on the side. All right, this is my teardown tray. I've actually made a video about just basically sun extra and i showed the tools i have on this this is, this is a tow cart tour video i'm just gonna show it anyways so sonic's teardown tree i've had it for a couple years lifesaver uh me the, the luxury i've had of being the only tech i can leave my tools out so uh hyper tough tape measure you need to take measure snap on knife a milwaukee hex impact driver got a matco locking impact driver on there this is SK impact sockets. It comes from uh, five to uh, 15, no skips. I don't think I have the, the five on here. And then snap on 15 to eight millimeter. Uh, skips, uh, no skips, eight to 15. Matco pinless, USA made. Quarter inch, universal joint. Uh, Green matic eight millimeter. Uh, magnetic and a Matco ADV 10 millimeter magnetic good sockets uh, quick disconnect tools got those ready at my hand ATD Torx I uh, got it like a up from I think from my 15 to 45 here uh, snap on 15 to 8 skips uh, 9 and 11 so 8 10 12 13 14 15 I got a Matco uh, pinless 7 millimeter for Fords and some Chevys that one's good. I like that pinless. Mac, uh, snap on hex four to 10 millimeter. Great sockets. My drawer here. Uh, Matco red inspection mirror, small inspection mirror, Nipex baby cobras, snap on pliers, some slip joints, some dikes, some needle noses. Uh, snap on quarter inch. Matco flex locking quarter inch. Snap on long quarter inch and Matco long flexing locking 3H ratchet. I uh, got the snap on quarter inch set, just a regular six piece. And then uh, snap on chrome, chrome, snap on one and a half, one and a quarter impact. This three, the three, six, and nine are SK impact sockets or extensions. We got that there. OEM tools, hood prop, uh, Lyle hood prop, Capri, uh, semi deeps, 8 to 22, Matco uh, magnet, ATD, long blow gun, snap on Phillips, flathead, uh, Milwaukee. Um, I use it as a flat typing pry bar. Uh, it's meant for construction, but I use it as a flat tapping pry bar. Uh, ATD big pry bar, the big one, medium size pry bar, small pry bar, ATD USA made. Keep this on this bad boy so I can stay cool. Matt Co drop sight fan, great fan. Here I got snap on wobbles. Um, 
10 all the way to 21, no skips. I think it skipped uh, 20. And then a Capri eight millimeter, a Capri blow gun. Great blow gun. Uh, gear wrench, uh, trim tool long, great. Uh, radiator, hose pick, and then snap on hose picks, 810, uh, Mac, 35 degree angle, uh, needle nose pliers, snap on sockets, 5 eighths and 9 sixteenths, snap on um, stubby Phillips and flathead, blue point trim pop, trim pride panel, whatever tool. Carbide scraper from Matco, and then a long snap on impact extension locking, and then uh, bungee cords. All right, here's my Husky box with the hutch, a locker, got nothing, some miscellaneous stuff, uh, blow motor cases, tote bags, bungee cords, jacket, yeah. A uh, knife from my uh, best friend, knife from my old lady, some paper there, pens, homemade cup my lady got me, chargers, lights, borescope, dope ass snap on koozie. My friend sent me out. Keep all my chargers back there, safety glasses, uh, tickets, and top drawer is kind of random crap. Mainly things, I got the uh, snap-on quarter-inch wobbles here, uh, chrome 3 8 extensions here that I swapped out with my um, impact, um, T60 from ATD, and these are the long hex, they don't fit here, so I took them off, laid them down, uh, Torx from uh, Matco, E-Torx from Matco, hex from Matco, comes from I think a quarter-inch, uh, 2.5 all the way up to uh, 19. E-Torx Plus from Lyle. Uh, triple squares from Vim. Uh, more triple squares from Capri. I think this one comes from uh, 2 to uh, 19 as well. Or 18. And then these are Capri Wobbles. Um, 5 to 15. Leftover... Um, Magnetic sockets from the gray pneumatic uh, set, Capri adapter set, redu adapter reducer set, Capri uh, standard set from 9 sixteenths to 1 inch, snap on wobble, 3 eighths gear wrench, and then these are snap on metric. I think there's a 3 quarter, 5 eighths, 9 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, uh, Capri uh, 5 sixteenths to 1 inch. Uh, snap-on magnetic, I mean, snap-on universal quarter-inch drive. This one's a uh, nine-sixteenths. This one's, uh, I believe, a half-inch, a seven-sixteenths, and then this one's a three-eighths. And then I got the shallow set here. Same thing as there. Uh, that five millimeter from the SK set. Some e Torx there. This tools, retired air tools, Capri. Uh, snap on three eighths um, grip tight. Uh, got these from Advanced Auto Parts. Good for drain plugs, rounded out drain plugs. Uh, Capri torque sticks, the ones I don't use the most. Uh, there's mainly those two. This one is just kind of random drawer. Uh, turbo socket set. Uh, magnet adapter. That was for my little ratchet I kept on my tow cart. So, I have more bits in there. OTC, uh, control arm prying tool. Ever tough, uh, balance, harmonic balancer puller. Another quick disconnect. Uh, trim tool that I would keep on my cart, but since I got the blue point one, I don't use it anymore. Uh, special tool for Nissans, for um, Working on the, this for the tensioner. It's a T core, it's an eight millimeter blue point wrench with a half cut or super shallow cut T55 and then a, an actual T55 to break loose the, the, the fastener. 
123 piece from Mac, bed adapter set, screwdriver set. Good stuff there. Everyone needs one of these. And then extras from the Lyle Master Fuel AC disconnect set. This one's kind of drawer. Keep my Calvan stud installers and removers. I got the standard and the metric. Uh, block tester from UV astronomatic hub bearing uh, remover installer. Uh, it's a Maco ADV socket set. That's the master set that came with all the hex and torques. I keep all the standard hexes in there because don't need them. Uh, snap on coolant pressure tester, snap on uh, coolant vacuum refiller. Miscellaneous drawer clips. Uh, for a car, wide out, small bungee cords, brake grease, flyer, that's a warranty. Some hammers. All my wrenches is gear wrench from 5 16 to one inch, ratcheting wrenches, uh, metric, gear wrench, combo wrenches, uh, some random wrenches, teched in eight and nine, gear wrench uh, six and seven, and a uh, custom grinded down 10 millimeter great neck, snap on 3 16 and uh, or 7 16 and 3 8 flare nut wrench, teched in 10 and 19, uh, gear wrench 3 8 to 3 quarter, ratcheting wrenches, Sun X, uh, regular combo 3 8 to 1 inch, great wrenches. And then this one is. Uh, quarter inch all the way up to one and a half inch gear wrench regular combo wrenches and these are my metric uh, ratcheting wrenches last drawer is just my junk drawer got you know cases and random crap all right so that is my uh those are my tow cars tear down tray hope you liked this video if you did make sure to subscribe hit the bell to get notified when i post another video follow me on instagram at it's the Zinni. As always, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.